Uh, hello, um, currently I am studying at Tsinghua University in Beijing, China, and I am majoring in automation. Uh, I chose to study in Tsinghua because it's one of the best universities in the world, and in fact, it's also the number one university in China, and either number one or number two in the whole of Asia, um, especially in engineering subjects. Uh, being a Tsinghua student means that I get to attend lessons taught by the best professors, use cutting-edge facilities rarely found anywhere else, and also learn alongside the brightest students from all around the globe. Uh, plus, living here gives me the perfect opportunity to improve my Mandarin, which is an incredibly important language to master. And I'm studying automation because I'm really passionate about technology, and especially artificial intelligence, because it's a rapidly growing field of study with limitless real-world uh, applications. Um, and it's an interdisciplinary field where I get to study various subjects, um, ranging from, for example, programming to circuitry, to engineering graphics and metalworking, and many, many more, which is amazing because I'll be able to develop a versatile knowledge base by the time I graduate, which will open up so many possible paths for me to take. Uh, at JNY, I took four A-level subjects, which were mathematics, physics, biology, and business studies. Uh, so actually, the A-level curriculum taught in JNY gave me a really good foundation for my university studies, especially uh, the maths and physics, because many of the topics covered in my first year calculus and physics class has actually already been taught to me at JNY, uh, which definitely gave me an edge up. Uh, so my Mandarin preparation mainly consists of learning for the HSK exam, which was required if I wanted to go to Tsinghua. So that includes uh, doing past papers and learning the vocabs um, given in the HSK vocabulary list. But at home, I also regularly communicate in Mandarin with my family members. So it's a second language to me already, which was very useful um, when studying for the HSK. Uh, yeah, so uh, first of all, you should definitely choose subjects that you are passionate about. And you should always exert yourself and try your best to achieve the highest possible results. And if you want to apply to top universities, uh, your A-level grades will be very, very important. Uh, and you should prepare yourself for that and also prepare yourself for good IELTS scores. And specifically, if you want to study in China, you need to uh, study for HSK. You need to pass at least HSK 4 or 5 for most universities. And also join extracurricular activities at JNY, which will enrich your uh, studies and your knowledge and expertise. And another tip for me is to definitely not cram and stay up late studying when it's almost exam time. Uh, instead, you should create a consistent uh, study routine at least six months in advance before the exam where you learn and revise bit by bit every day. And it's important to stick to that schedule. It's going to be way less stressful and tiring than you think and you'll end up retaining uh, the information much better in the long run. Uh, I like many things about JNY, but probably the thing I liked the most was my were my teachers. Uh, my teachers, they were all amazing at teaching, but they're also really fun, which made the lessons much more engaging. And even during my online classes during the pandemic, I was still able to pay attention and learn effectively all thanks to my teachers. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so JNY is a great school. It teaches the A-level curriculum, which is an excellent preparation for uh, most universities. Uh, the teachers, they're also great. They're all really dedicated and make learning enjoyable. And JNY also has uh, a bunch of amazing facilities, like for example, the science labs, a large soccer field. They also have swimming pools and dance rooms. Uh, so whatever your passion is, JNY is definitely a great place to learn and develop them.